Let's talk a little bit about approaching the high pitches in head voice if you want to sing classically. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. I have sung in opera theater professionally, among a lot of other things. So here's the thing. When you go higher in your head voice, number one, you want to make sure you sing through your entire vocal range every single day. Whenever you warm up, don't neglect the very top pitches. So go until failure. I always like to do an exercise where I go up and down quickly and I reach the top and I go literally until it sounds horrible. Literally until nothing comes out anymore. You want to go until failure. Now, those are not going to be your singable pitches in a piece of music. Those are going to be a little lower, but the higher you get that top pitch that is actually doable, that comes out, even if it doesn't sound great, the better those pitches are going to get that are a little below that. The next thing is when I go high, I don't think wide. I think narrow. I think focused. I think laser beam. Instead of a wide stream of air, you want to narrow that down more and more and more because the vocal cords close more and more tightly and you don't want to think heavy outward motion. You want to think more like that inhalare la voce. Of course, you never inhale, but it's almost like you're holding your breath. When I'm singing on the top pitches, I feel like I'm hanging out there forever. I could sing that forever because I don't hardly use any air. could have held that even longer. But the point is that airstream is very, very important. You use your support, but you hold that perfect equilibrium. It's almost like you want to balance out the air. You have that perfect vocal cord closure and that amount of subglottal compression that is exactly right for the pitch that you're singing that increases the higher you go. Now, as you're approaching the highest pitches, your vertical placement will slightly change. But until you get to actual whistle register, which we're not talking about here, we are talking about the top of your head voice range. You want to think about a nice vertical space and openness. When you are too broad this way, mi piace bello, it doesn't work. Bello, bello. This is actually higher than it's going to happen in the piece of music, but you want to make sure it's like you don't want to choke yourself by being very, very small in the back of your throat. Lift that soft palate. Try to use your lips as an extension if it is possible. If you have any ah oh sound or oo sound or ah sound, don't cover it. The next thing is because you want to go narrow, not wide, not too heavy, not too much outward, you also want to try to feel like you have a lightness in the pitch. And I always love using that approach of trying the top onset. How soft can I make that onset? Do it three times like so. You can put vibrato on or not, but it's all about preparing for the onset and feeling like I'm inhaled. Now the pipes are open. I'm not closing the epiglottis. I'm keeping it open at all times. And then I'm perfectly synchronizing airflow with vocal cords coming together and the space that I have already created. I'm not starting the pitch. And then I think, oh, 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 now I need to have vertical space. I have that vertical space already created. The space is there. Everything is placed. All I need to do now is create that frequency. And so on. If you hear any amount of nothing's coming out, too much air pressure, too wide. Need to be more narrow, more fo focused, more laser beam. Try these out and let me know in the comments how this is working for you. 
<laughs> and if you want to subscribe to my Pitch Perfect newsletter, which I have just newly created, it comes out every Sunday. I share all my experience as a singer. I share my stories and maybe something that is happening in the singing world. All the things that are just about singing that I want to share with you. Subscribe to that newsletter. I will put the link below. Have a wonderful day. Always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. 